Terabee People Counting LXL is designed to deliver real-time, privacy-protected data for very wide entrances and passageways. In this video, you will learn how to set up the standard parameters of your device right after its installation. Access the device web GUI by opening your web browser and typing the device IP address or the local host address as follows. On the login page, type people underscore counting underscore admin as the username. Enter the device serial number followed by hyphen hyphen admin for the password, then click log in. Once the standard parameters page opens, you can see the device image in infrared, the counting in and counting out values, the button to get, set or reset counts, and finally the standard parameters to configure. To set up the counting area, first click Launch Image Refresh. You get the Depth Sensor Image Visualization, which is a dynamic view of how people behave when passing below the device and the environment surrounding the device. Redraw the in counting area according to the environment to optimize counter accuracy. To be counted in, people have to come from an exit area to an entry area and leave the device field of view. Here is an example. In the visual, the door is located at the bottom, so people who are entering are going from the bottom to the top of the image. Therefore, the counting area needs to be placed at the top of the image. The in and out counters you can see at the top and the bottom of the visual are fixed. They indicate counting data and are not related to the design of the counting areas. To set the counting area, draw a rectangle by clicking on the corners of the image. If you want to go back and draw another area, click Remove Last Point and start again. The next parameter to consider is Reverse Direction, which affects the counting area direction. The default counting area is set to count people coming in. If you want to reverse the direction and draw an out area, you need to tick that box. You can also set up the camera height. In our example, the device is installed at 2.5 meters or 2,500 millimeters. Make sure to indicate the distance from the floor to the device in millimeters. Then indicate the exclusion height, which is the height in millimetres below which there will be no detection, starting from the ground. In our example we leave it at 600 millimetres. The in area field gives the coordinates for each corner of the counting area. You can modify the values directly after you define the new area. For example, here we replace minus 1 by 0 so the coordinates don't give an error. You can also enable or disable the daily reset. In general, we recommend enabling it to start counting from 0 every day. This will remove the potential counting errors that you may have accumulated throughout the day. We recommend setting an hour where the building is empty, for example at midnight. Save the parameters. You will then get a message to confirm that they have been correctly saved. Click Apply Parameters to restart the device and ensure the new parameters are taken into account. Watch our next tutorial videos on people counting LXL to learn how to correctly configure the standard parameters, the coordinator device and the counting area. Music